So let's talk about the two of you. This is your first joint interview of the campaign. It is. How did you two meet? Oh, at a pink hotel. <laughs> yep. yep, yep, pink hotel in Key Biscayne. Meet Bruce Mann, a Harvard Law School professor better known these days as Elizabeth Warren's husband. So 1979, Yes. you meet Senator Warren. <laughs> What was she like? <laughs> oh, the, um, the first, <clears throat> let me set the scene. Uh, because, because, <laughs> Please. Yeah, because it's, it's completely improbable. The two met when they were 29 years old, attending a law conference in Florida. Warren had recently separated from her first husband, Jim Warren. As I approached the reception, I looked across the lawn and the, from about, oh, I don't know, 25 yards away, the, uh, I saw Elizabeth talking to, to a couple of people. Mm -hmm. and, the, um, and even from that distance, the, I, was just, I was just drawn to her. I mean, she mm -hmm. was so lively, so animated, uh, so engaged. I, I just fell for her from 25, 25 yards out before even meeting. Love at first sight? For me, yes. It took, it, it took her a couple of days. Yeah. Now, you? I was much slower. Uh, that was a Sunday late afternoon. Uh, that's right, yeah. When we met. Yeah. I wasn't completely in love with him until sometime mid-morning on Monday. Hmm. He was in the row ahead of me, down at the other end of the row. And it was on Monday when I actually saw him in shorts. And <laughs> good luck and legs. And... Wow. Yeah, that's when, that's when I was all in. Yeah, that's right. I, that's right. I was, she completely objectified me. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> As the couple tells it, it was a whirlwind romance built on a shared love of teaching and academia and a bond over their similar upbringings. Just months after they first met, it was Warren who popped the question. It was in the fall, mm -hmm. and uh, I watched him teach a class, which I never done before. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting in the back of the room while he's teaching and when the class is all, he's taught a really good class and students, lots of interactions, students ask some questions afterwards, they all leave. And he walks back in this big empty classroom. He looks down at me and he says, well, what did you think? And I said, great, will you marry me? And he said, yes. Yes, and that was it. <laughs> that was it. That's right, yeah. That was it. Yeah, I, I got to see him in one, you know, got to see him in shorts, uh, got to watch him play <laughs> tennis, got to do all, all that right. when we were in Miami for three weeks, and then um, got to see him teach. And but that's it. Yeah. I'm marrying this one. You know, uh, when you find a good one, grab them and hang on. I really am glad to see all of you here. Warren is now one of the leading candidates for the Democratic nomination for president. If she wins, her husband would be the first male presidential spouse in history. He says it's not a role he ever imagined himself playing. When you first met the senator, she was a Republican. I'm not, I don't think I knew that at the time. However conservative she might have been at the time, mm -hmm. the, it was not uh, particularly apparent. And we really didn't mm -hmm. discuss politics. Friends and colleagues describe Mann as the quieter of the couple, devoted to his scholarship and even more devoted to his wife. He's been by Warren's side as her political career has taken off rapidly, beginning with a Senate campaign in 2012 and a presidential run announced on the last day of 2018. So that conversation between the two of you, where you decide, okay, we're going to do this, mm -hmm. I'm going to run for president, what is that conversation like? I don't think of it as a single <clears throat> conversation. No, not really. It not was really. the bits and pieces kind of thing that people who live together do. Mm -hmm. uh, a piece here about what's happening in our country, yeah. a piece about a place we ought to be fighting back. Um, and over time, now I did have conversations with other people, mm -hmm. real conversations that I told them I was going to have and I wanted them to think about it so I could get good advice. I mean, this, this is an important decision. And so the conversations she mentioned um, were asking people to give her three reasons why she should run, three reasons why she shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And she saved me for last. Um, and so finally she asked me for three reasons, pro and con. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. And I said, you're going to run anyways. The, mm -hmm. So it just doesn't matter because if you don't run and Democrats lose, you'll feel guilty because then that means there'll be no one to fight for the people and the issues that you care about. 
it just became clearer and clearer yeah. in this fight that right. you're right, I, I couldn't not do it. Hmm. So we fast forward 10 months. Yep. You know that your wife has been leading the polls lately. Hmm. As the person who knows her best, why do you think she's leading the polls right now? <laughs> because she's the best person to do the job. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you feel it. Yeah, <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. It's an entirely unbiased opinion. That's right. Absolutely, That's right. absolutely. The, <clears throat> the... And you remember, we don't do polls. <laughs> That's right, we, we do not do polls. And if she does become the nominee, she will go up against President Trump. Yep. Are you ready for that? <laughs> the, I'm not sure if anyone, how anyone trains for it. It's, it's, you just jump into the deep end mm -hmm. and you swim. Do the two of you talk yet about what life could be like at the White House? No. No. <laughs> uh-uh. No. 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 It's a bit early. As his wife is running for president, Mann is continuing to teach at Harvard Law School. He has spent limited time on the campaign trail so far, but says he already has one of the most important jobs on the Warren campaign. My, my principal role has been as, as Bailey's handler. <laughs> That's right. So I, I, help, I, help him, I help Bailey manage his photo lines. The couple's 16-month-old golden retriever has developed a following of his own. So what are the things that you two are doing to try to keep any sense of normalcy when you're home? Bailey. Yeah. It's Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Yeah. We try to get out to Fresh Pond, mm -hmm. and it's a really good day. We actually do doubles at Fresh Pond. That means we go early in the morning and again just before it's dark, uh, if we can make that work in the yeah, schedule. Right. Is there anything you could tell us about the senator that we don't know about? Oh, probably oh, there's yeah. a lot. Wait, just a minute. Oh, that's yeah, right. Just, no, just I, something I, the average person right. wouldn't know about <laughs> Senator Warren. Oh, gosh. Um. Oh, oh, my oh, goodness. To oh, to the rescue. <laughs> to the rescue. Bailey is also the reason for man's recent visit to the emergency room. He was playing with another dog until the play stopped and the other dog attacked him. Bailey was, was handling himself fine, but nonetheless, I waded in and my hand caught on his harness and broke a bone. Warren and her husband both used the same word to describe the campaign. The day that you announced your campaign, uh -huh. it was New Year's Eve. Yes. You had a press conference right outside right of this outside. house yeah. uh -huh. with Bailey. Uh, and at the very end, I think a reporter turned to you, asked for a comment. And you said, we've been married a long time and it's always been an adventure. <laughs> so this is just another one. How is that adventure going? Really extraordinarily well. Um, and it's even more of an adventure. Um, <laughs> back then I had no idea what it would look like, only that the, we would do it. And so the, every part of it remains uh, an adventure. So the, I stand by that statement. <laughs> Senator? Oh, yes. Um, I can do this adventure because we do it together. It's true. <laughs>